Hi, this is Billy from West Palm Dog. I'm here with Aaron. And for this session, we're working on um, Aaron's focus as well as his leave -its to come away from objects he would rather go towards. We have some toys planted along the cones that he's very interested in because he loves toy play. So what I'm gonna do is just ask him to walk with me. I'm gonna say, let's go. Um, if he disengages from me and tries to engage with the toy, I'm gonna ask him to leave it. Then I'm gonna mark and reward when he looks back at me and comes toward me. I'd also like him to stay relatively uh, close to me in my bubble and not stray too far ahead. Uh, Cause I wanna start to prepare him for more off leash work. Cause he's doing great with all the on leash work. So let's see how he does. Ready, Aaron? Let's go. Good, right there. Good boy. So he went to look at it, sniff it, leave it. Good. Good. I would prefer him to be on the left side, so I'm going to switch directions. Good. Yes. Can also reward him when he's following more closely. I don't want to lure him with food anymore because he's really um, accomplished with that. I want to make his work more challenging. Aaron, leave it. Yes and continue to add more distractions, more um, ability for him to make decisions on his own. Good. If he's on a leash and I'm luring him at this point, um, he's not really being as challenged as he could be. Yes. But I still do want to reward him for making good decisions. Aaron, leave it. Yes. This way. <laughs> he dropped his kibble. Uh-uh, leave it. This way, good. 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 Stop. Nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do is free, release him, and then I'm actually going to allow him to play with the toy that he really wants to play with. Get it. Right? Just to, to clarify that leave it doesn't necessarily mean it's forbidden or off limits forever. Just that I need you to come away from it right now. Good boy.